Hello everyone, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. I pray whatever finds itself to try to come against you, I sever that thing to the root of that thing in Jesus' name. Oh, give Him glory. Everything that has breath, praise ye the Lord. I'm coming to you with a dust, saith the Lord. This is a time of testing, said God. That's what you're experiencing. A time of hard testing because God is getting ready to take the whole body of Christ to another level and so he's dividing the wheat and the tares come on somebody hallelujah to his name he is judging who is worthy and who is not vessels of gold and vessels of clay come on somebody hallelujah to his name God is testing you and that's why a lot of you feel weary and worn out and and don't understand what is going on but God said if you if you just hold on if you just be strong I, I'm gonna bless you and not just monetary I'm gonna bless you with healing I'm gonna bless you with deliverance I'm gonna bless you with peace of mind oh come on somebody these are things you cannot buy hallelujah to his name so that's why you're feeling a little war out. And then a lot of you don't understand. You keep forgetting this is a spiritual war. I don't care how strong you are. Come on, somebody. David was one of the strongest people in the in the Bible. And there were times, Elijah, come on, somebody. There were times that the true men of God hid themselves and said, Lord, oh, woe is me. So it's okay. But the thing is, though, you have to also do like David. You have to encourage yourself. How do you do that, apostle? You, you get before the Lord. You worship you worship and you worship you get in the word of God you pray to your God and let him know I I, I won't let go I, I, I don't care what, what comes against me I don't care who comes against me I, I won't let you go God come on somebody hallelujah you gotta fall deeply in love with your father but this is a period of testing said the Lord oh hallelujah to his name you'd be surprised how many people when they're tested they go back to being who they used to be rather than who God have called you to be. Oh, hallelujah to his name. You cannot be who God have called you to be and who you used to be at the same time. And some of you are trying to do that. Some of you go back to your old ways when you get to being tested. You, you want to smoke. You want to drink. You want to fornicate. You want to cuss. You want to get angry. You want to act, oh, come on, somebody, connive, which is bad. When God is saying, that stuff's still in you then. How can I use you? Oh, come on, somebody. But remember, God is married to the backslider. So pick up yourself. Stop allowing yourself to feel that guilt and that anguish. Because God said, I have forgiven you, now forgive yourself. And I'm talking to somebody, hallelujah, to your name. Because I feel that heavy in my spirit. Don't you dare let the devil think that you are not who God called you to be. Everybody in the Bible sinned. David sinned with Bathsheba. Moses sinned when he struck the rock. Come on, somebody. Everybody sinned. They were little and big, but everybody sinned. And you're going to sin too sometimes. Uh oh, newsflash. Hallelujah. But stay with the Lord no matter what. Yes, the enemy is going to come. Soon as you're being tested, he is right there. Come on, somebody. Remember Joe? He, he said the, the, the devil goes to and fro the earth looking, looking to devour God's people. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So he's looking to devour you. But God say, he, you, sometimes you're going to have to encourage yourself. And if some of y'all are asking God why so many enemies, don't you know he said, I'll bless you in the presence of your enemies. So when you see, you see your enemies, the first thing you ought to do is, Lord, I thank you for that blessing. Hallelujah to his name. Don't get discouraged. Be encouraged, man of God. Be encouraged, woman of God, because it's not over. It's just beginning. God is getting ready to take the body of Christ into a level they have never seen. A level of worship. A level of praise. A level of power that they ain't never seen. Oh, come on, somebody. But God said, first I got to test you and see if you're worthy. Hallelujah. Because everybody that said, Lord, Lord, is not of the Lord. See, you got some entertainers. Oh, come on, somebody. They need to be in Hollywood. Ain't got no power. Not that true anointing from God. And that's what God is, you see, that's what God is getting ready to do. So you must be tested. You see, he's trying to see, well, where's your foundation? Because you see, if your foundation is not in God, then it can't stand. Oh, come on, somebody. Some of y'all foundation is in a man, in a woman. Oh, come on, somebody, in a church. Come on, somebody. Your foundation must be in the Lord thy God. Hallelujah. And when it's in the Lord thy God, God can trust you. Because he know you won't turn to the left or to the right or, or do what man wants you to do. Come on, somebody. There's too much of a soul spirit that's out in this world today that they listen to the people. 
Oh, I'm not saying don't respect you. Or, or come on, somebody, I honor your elders or, or, or the people that are over you. I'm just saying God should be first. Hallelujah. When those that honor God will honor you. Hallelujah to his name. So this is a period of testing. Don't you dare give up with tears in your eyes, with your body weary, and you don't know what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, and when you're going to do it. Just throw you, I trust you, Lord. I trust you, God. I trust you, God. I trust you, God. And I'm praying for all of you. I read some of your comments. So a lot of you inbox me. I pray every day for you. And I pray that you're praying for me. Because we got a well-known enemy and he don't like you and he don't like me. Oh, not if, not if you're a threat to the kingdom. Now, the ones that's playing, he know you ain't no threat. Come on, somebody. So be encouraged in the Lord. And I plead the blood of Jesus over your mind, your soul, and your body. Get up, man of God. Get up, woman of God. You got this. You can do this. Yes, you can. You're stronger than you think you are. Oh, come on, somebody. God put it in you. He know what he put in you. And to be honest with you, can I tell you something? Every time you fall and you truly the Lord, he said, just man fall seven times and get back up. So don't you know you came back up with a little bit more power? He might have got you, but you came back up with a little bit more power. Hallelujah to his name. You be encouraged. God bless you. And I love you through Jesus Christ. And this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Have a great day. Make it a great day in Jesus name.